Greetings, everyone. This uh, short recording is intended for the parents of children, of parents who have children in K through five. Uh, my apologies for not communicating more, and uh, hopefully, in a few weeks, in a few weeks, we will have a new director of faith formation for K through eight. I will keep you updated as things develop. I would, as I've said in previous recordings, one of the uh, primary ways for parents to hand on their, the faith to their children is to have regular conversations with them. I would hope that uh, families would begin to, if coming to Mass, or watching it on TV, recorded, that you would visit with your child or children at dinner table, lunch, or when you're driving home. Discuss and ask, what did they hear the priest say when he is, was preaching? You will find out a lot what is on their minds and how they are thinking, what they are hearing. And then you can clarify and you can add age appropriate, of course, what the priest did say. And in that way, have it a normal part of your conversation and your life at home. I would hope that all of you are praying with your children each night. It is so important for them to see that you pray and how you pray, for that is what they will learn and that is what they will do. The basic prayers of the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, the Act of Contrition, the Angel Prayer. And in that way, they will learn it and they will be able to, to pray in those difficult times of life that we all go through when it is difficult to find words. For parents in the second grade with preparing for the sacraments, as I said, we will be having reconciliation toward the end of January, beginning of February. So I would hope that you'd be working with them and talking to them about the Ten Commandments as they are in the smaller catechism that you have. And simply walk with them through the chapters as they are now going into the fourth chapter. Look at both books and try to, and just discuss with them if there are things that they can do, encourage them to do the drawings, the writing, the reflections each week. For those in the third grade and fourth grade in this catechism, because it, it is discussing the Holy Spirit, it is chapter five in this book, chapter five. And work with your child and talk to them about how the Holy Spirit has worked in your life, prompted you so that they can begin to recognize the movement of the Holy Spirit in their lives through what they say and what they do and when they are pray praying, mindful that it is the Holy Spirit who prompts all good things, all the things that we do that are good. If you have any questions concerning vocabulary or things that you could be doing at present time, please send me an email and I will respond to any questions. My email address can be found in the bulletin in the back. And if you go to the web, if you did not pick up a bulletin, you can find that in the back of, uh, on our webpage. I do encourage you to please, please, return to Mass, you know, helping your child to understand the importance of community, of the Eucharist, of giving worship and praise to God, and in that way, teaching your child and being fully alive in the faith. Thank you, and again, if you have any questions, please do email me. God bless.